yeah. to you, uh, Professor uh, Bangula. You yes. obviously have also your opinions about uh, what's going on in Libya Very true. and about Gaddafi. Yes. What kind of person is, was he really? Because uh, we seem to be getting uh, mixed reviews of the man, which of course is normal. But it looks like uh, there are people who seem to think, frankly, that uh, all he has played is a negative role. And yet there are also a lot of people, people. who look at what they call as his positive role. Right. Especially in terms of the liberation of some parts of the African continent. Well, matter of fact, the leader of the opposition who just spoke has made it very clear. In Africa, Gaddafi is known as the king of kings. But us in Libya, we see him as king of lies. He already made a complete demarcation between Africa and Libya. And Gaddafi has always insisted that Libya is Africa. It's in Africa, it's part of Africa. This is one of the problems many Africans on the continent are having, that these Benghazians see themselves completely separate and even more, uh, 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 and even better than other Africans. That's why nobody wants to talk about it, but it should be talked about. They went and massacred black Africans under the very false claim that they were mercenaries. Well, Al Jazeera showed the pictures of these so-called mercenaries, poor black African workers, that were sitting there scared like hell for their lives and uh, use this so-called revolution as an excuse to massacre black Africans. This is the sort of racism that has been in Libya for a long time. I do not like dictators one bit. If, in fact, what you are saying is accurate, uh, if the, what you are saying is true, that uh, the rebels massacred uh, who, people they consider yes. to be black... Uh, black Africans. Mercenaries. Yes. What about uh, a segment of their own society? Right which is made up of black Libyans. Black Libyans. Libyans. And this is one of the conflations when you go to Libya, you find racism in that country, that is steep. People don't want to talk about it, but it is real. Even Gaddafi himself is called, you see his big nose, is just a light-skinned black monkey. I hear people say that But in what that about country. the fact that he himself calls the opponents rats, yes, cockroaches, it's, well, that dogs? Is, this, is the, this is the problem we're having. As I said, I do not like dictators one bit, but there has to be a consistency in policy. The same thing that Barack Obama said, more profoundly our responsibility to our fellow human beings under such circumstances would have been a betrayal. We should have used the same criteria to intervene in Cote d'Ivoire right now. We did not. We pick and choose where to, where to intervene and where not to intervene. This is the dichotomy. This is the problem people on the continent are seeing. Granted, what, what, do, you, what do you think are the reasons behind uh, this quick intervention in Libya? and um, no intervention in the Ivory Coast. Well, if you talk to many people in Africa and many people who have been on the internet communicating, they, they will tell you the whole question is oil. oil. The fact that Barack Obama even told the Begazians you can start selling oil now, pretty much just uncover, unveiled what people we are suspecting. But in fairness to that point of view, surely there is also oil in the Ivory Coast. Well, what I'm It may oil, not have been uh, yeah. to that extent. Yeah. But is it only oil or is it perhaps the issue of the possible migration of large populations of Africans into Western Europe? Well, that's one of the other things people are also saying.